Okay. It's, it's a longer one. That's fine. That's good. I'm probably going to play this one. I'm going to get the right game. It's one. And let's begin. So welcome everyone, my name is Rachel Arza Darkness, and welcome to the first episode of High Score. It has been some time since I've seen the game been played, only the first episode, because there's nothing else out just yet. Uh, and I can't really remember much, which is perfect. Why can't you hear the game? I can barely hear it. Why? Okay, that's better. Uh, but I want to edit my own stuff. So I think this is a little hard for me. Okay. Uh, options. Mm, that's fine. I can't continue, so let's continue. I don't remember this. This screen here. Aw. Oh, oh, look at the dirt. So cool. This is a story based game. I tried to forget as much as I can. And now I feel like I've forgotten enough. <laughs> no. It looks like the most fluffiest dog ever. <laughs> that, that's not a secure weapon. And the music for your name is S sorry, you're gonna need a minute. Uh okay, you give yourself a minute to freak out. Because of the monster the thing with all the legs and teeth, the one you barely got away from. It is up though. You take a deep breath. Let uncertainty slip away into the toothy, arm wiggling darkness and focus on what you know. Uh, your name is Joey Claire. You live just outside the town of Huntswitch. You are, in no particular order, a puzzle solver, a semi orphan, a dance from multiple schools, and Aspiring veterinarian and a big sister. Speaking of the monster, speaking of uh, that monster, the one you barely missed eating you alive. Only you're not thinking about that right now. <laughs> uh, he might be heading back outside where your little brother is. You gotta warn him. Your babysitter gave you this for your birthday. Joey, she said, this wizard. This wizard's the best. I left in this little wizardy orb, just swimming in spells and glitter. He'll protect you. Look, he's, look, he's doing it right now. Your babysitter loves wizards. Obviously, she's pretty great. No one is award around the same age as you for being best at ballet. It's pretty. Look. It's the 11th of November. Today starts off just like any other day, with another sunrise and the sound of songbirds going hog wild out there in the trees. Their songs have all but stopped, and now there's something else going hog out there. <laughs> you don't know what it is, but it ain't birds, and it sure as heck isn't hogs. Mark. You're Mark. Already marked today's date as part of your daily routine. If anyone claims that you didn't exist on the date of November 10th, 1993, you can show them the red X right in their face and prove them wrong. Oh, was the cats are some, some cats are here. These posters there resonate so powerfully 
but the very core of your being, the animals, the magic, the power that race put you in your dreams, secrets of, of a better world on the other side of the stars. Ah, oh, keep it. This is not a god, so just plushies. <laughs> you should be pretty sick of on the shelf, which is the point of shelves, I suppose. Please. Search? Puppy surprise. It's gonna be puppies, Hamoni. Puppy surprise. Puppy surprise. Puppy surprise. Ah, I really look at this thing. This song for the commercial runs through your head like a snake monster on an autumn afternoon. It's a great, it's a great place to stash your keep keepsakes. And I'm good, thank you. How are you, uh, Bowser? Name changing. I've changed the name so many times. I need to close this window because it's annoying. <laughs> there you go. Uh, <clears throat> fine, that's good. Uh, they stay as safe as a teen hiding in her bedroom from my snake monster. Let's see, I'm good. Search. She's quick. You reach inside the. Expectant plush canine and I'll be surprised there's having puppies. Ah yes. Don't ever think to look for your precious dairy key inside a plush mother dog. Least of all your brother, who was upset he didn't get one of the puppies. Judy can be pretty melodramatic. Speaking of precious keys, there's also a beautiful gold trinket that used to belong to my mom. Your mom. That used to belong to your mom. You have no idea what it is, but looking at it reminds you of her. Honestly, you're not sure you'd be comfortable living it here with everything that's going on. <laughs> you collected the diary key from this plush While you're at it, you think maybe you should keep this beautifully here with Beautiful heirloom of your mother's. Of your mother's so close. I feel the feeling that deep, inexplicable, impossible to ignore feeling. I try to remember this. If Harissa ever got it, got in any jams like this. There is so much in common. A annoying little brother, computer room, a uh, second story bedroom, uh. uh Smudge had to admit, Clarice has left the deviates from yours on a number of var varieties. Parents are around. She had a cool friend who has a boy, but not her boyfriend. No monster in the yard is here. Did you do the thing? Yeah, Aurelius helped me yesterday with the uh, noise cancellation on my mic on the jazz. And yeah, the delay isn't that bad today. Babysitter got this junior veterinarian med kit. It's kind of important to you, so you think you'll leave it here for now. It would really bust you up if something happened to it. Your walkie talkie. Half of a set, your brother has the other one. It will come in handy. Get it. Hmm. Nope. Oh, that's so pretty. <gasps> More jazz. Can I skip that? Yeah. You turn it up from, I guess, nothing to t 25 or something? Hmm, feels a little light. Uh, yeah, no batteries. Remember cannibalizing the walkie talkie when something else needed them? You can't recall exactly what that something was. It's very keep your clothes. Consider your fashion statement to be fun and comfortable. And try to model this out from Cla Cla Clarissa. Ah, Clarissa. She really does explain quite a few things. Except, of course, there's precisely where she gets her clothes and how she manages to look so great all the time. You try on some new clothes, but what's a style montage without at least one party offering comp compulsory reaction shots for each outfit? 
It's gonna give you an affirming head nod when you finally nail it. There are important things to consider before uh, carelessly plunge it headlong into a style montage. <laughs> Who knows? Your model always makes a mighty racket logging you on. Probably not worth running up. Any hallway snakes to serve pure sights right now. It's not like there's so much new to see, anyway. Are you sure that Jude would have left you let you know if anyone in your, your ring had updated on their sights? <laughs> That's creepy. Beanbags are making a big comeback, by the way. Your bit's sitting on the floor, and it's all you can really ask of a beanbag. Darkness, my old friend. <laughs> so many posters. She's even worse than my old room. I had posters in the ceiling because I didn't have room on the floor. I love Block Hustle. <laughs> the game of descending co columns that disappear as lines are felled, but uh, you, you can only find a poster of the American books art. They have a thing for every picture? Yes, they still are, like I said before. I have a giant knot in my hair. I'm trying to get it loose. Uh, but yes. The keyboard and mouse I got for Christmas from a certain someone and camera from someone else. So everything pretty new. What could possibly go wrong? That's what Bubsy would say if he was here. You never stop saying it. You'd hear it in your head forever, echoing like scream. It's echo across still water. This game is only available in Japan, but that's there is this kid at school who says his uncle works at a game company. And he says and he says gets to play all sorts of secret games before they even come out here. He runs off at the mouth like he has all this inside information and sources inside the game companies, but honestly, you think he's just desperate for attention. What? Yes, I have none of those. Don't ignore him and focus on more pleasant things like this super cool poster. She was back in the dark for a show about a group of horse friends. She was down some troubling psychological roads. Since she's been gone, you have seen less and less of Paul over your over the years. Casey has greener pastures to move on onto or bluer beauties. That little girl there? She's destined for big things. Big hopes, big fears, big worries, big romances. Now hold on, pull yourself together. What would your mom say if she knew you were thinking like that? I really wish you knew. I usually don't have much to record in your own account, don't they? Uh, humdrum, humdrum life, you plan. But you think today will be a different story. Maybe you should take a moment to record a note now, just in case this is your last chance to set down your final words before you try to demise at the hands of horrific, horrific snake things. It's locked. I have the key. If you wish to gain access to your long buried or recently buried secrets, you'll have to use the diary key. When you unlock the, and open your diary. Nice, just secrets. Here you come. Juice the secrets, not just. That is nice. <coughs> yeah. Uh, here you mix up. They're just your boring secrets, so you don't care. Mm. No, it's the same thing. 
Maybe something we could have passed will shed some light on today's terror mysteries. Some little details mentioned offhand or for and forgotten. The key. Uh, kickling off a casual cascade and connections that terminates in a catastrophe of snake monsters. April 13th, 1994. Dear Diary. Oh, um. Nothing so much happened today. I tried to make some new friends at school to maybe expand our s social circle beyond me and Jude's friends all the time. Uh, wait, this is a weird, uh, weird to call my brother's friends my social circle? Is it weird? But, uh, I don't... Uh, I know what I meant, diary. I don't have my any friends I can really call mine. So I'm trying to branch out. I guess it's better than calling them... Webbering. The kids at school are jerks, jerks though, and they called me a poser when I tried to talk to them about games I like and stuff. Between you and me, I think a bunch of the kids at school might be um, evil. Jeez, I don't know I'm sounding more paranoid if I give my brother. I just have to know good, I can feel it. Jody. June 12th, Dare Diary. Oh, the first of summer vacation. I can't wait to get a break from all those clowns at school. I never think that what I really need is a vacation from humanity. So, October 25th, 1994. Dear diary, can't believe I haven't recorded an entry since the beginning of last summer. Needless to say, I am, I've been back to school for a while now. Next summer can't come soon enough. I came home to a drunk babysitter again today. Sure, he's some quality adult supervision we youngsters are getting around here. She means well, though. But I haven't heard from Pa in weeks. Last we saw him, he was. He popped in the house to drop off more stupid mummies and globes and whatever, and skipped off to go on more adventures. What a bozo. Also, how lame is it that he made us call him Pa instead of Dad? While well, we were growing up, I miss him a lot. If this is to be the last entry in a diary, then boy gum, you're going to scare the bejesus out of whoever finds this once you're shaked out. Shake out? Wait. Shake show? November 11th, 1994. Dear Diary, forgive my hazy and nervous scribbling. I'm kind of scared, but maybe a little bit excited? Anyway, I can't take m talk much now. There's a sly of a curling monster on the prowl. Probably hungry for kid meat, too. So I've got to, um... Okay, I don't know, I don't have a darn clue what I have to do, but I'll, I'll f fill in it later once I do it. Three. Satisfied? You, you've done your duty vis-a-vis -vis clustering in case the worst should happen. You know, Relock your diary and hide the key again. Sleep and sleep. Appreciate? Sure. You had a good heart start, yeah. You're appreciating the heck out of this art. It would be difficult, if not impossible, for anyone to appreciate it more. <laughs> what is it? I really like this poster, but can't really say why. It's pretty, and you like the expression of the baroness face. You wonder if this is what it's like in the dolls go to museums or the actual art. I hope so. <laughs> why is that the only thing I can look at? <laughs> to challenge. Look. You really get a true jet of this game. It's kind of bossy, though. Challenge. Alright, that's where you the walkie talkie batteries. We'll just take them back out. Okay. No more game for all times. It's one more game for all times. It's probably fun. <laughs> you don't have time for this. Like the green buttons are working. Well, nostalgia satisfied. Might as well sabotage batteries. I failed. 
Uh, his words. What? <laughs> uh, something, a collection of tales of the consoles. Hungry, heart shaped mouth. All the best ones are here. Oh. All the ones you happen to know are here. I do spend all day listening to them. There's Bubsy, there's Mullen telling Bubsy makes you feel like a little wheezy. So you just think you'll stop there. You might go lie down for a bit actually. What? <laughs> oh, he's trying to signals. <clears throat> Poor puppy. Puppy. Not puppy. 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 If that icy snake thing hurt her, well, you'd use your budding engineering skills to patch her up, but make oh, you know better. But you'd also be very angry. Right now, she doesn't seem to wait, want to come out of her dark house. You don't blame her. No. It'd be nice if those monsters uh, are as. Out by that weird, weird, weirded out by that weird skull fountain as you are. Unfortunately, that thing is probably monster, but shake. Nice, yeah, more of them. Tire fortification is a weird monster. Mustering social commentary aside, I sincerely hope you and your brothers aren't killed and eaten by those eyeless mother forks. I don't know when you were raking up those leaves. The dog knocked you over and you laughed, and then everything turned into monsters. Ah. Memories. Yeah, this is it. So pretty. The sun has just set. But making for a glorious autumn eve. As such, phenomenal. Even glory radiant from the heavens, kissing the clouds on its way down to earth. See you guys fine. You briefly mouse on the metaphorical signification significance of the flashing light. But could it represent the past, the future? America? He's a stupid bugger. You need to get in touch with him. <laughs> Even dudes coupled up to his treehouse to get away from that thing. Surprisingly, he acts like it's his mission control room up there. <laughs> As if a goofy kid legitimately has any secret business of that sort. Outrageous. You're not allowed up there, he says. To which you reply, you'd rather step on a rake than set a foot in his rickety little nerd hut. You school him so often, you really should be pulling in a teacher's salary. Okay, so batteries do this. Success! The Wokotoki -like works like a charm now. A charm with battery powers. Power. You feel pretty pleased with yourself. It would seem you just solved your first puzzle of many. What is sure to be a sweeping adventure full of mysterious brain busters. Okay. Then again, putting batteries in a thing isn't technically technically solving a puzzle, I suppose. It's just overcoming a minor inconvenience that you created yourself using mundane, weirdly available modern technology. You don't care though, you count it. Jude, are you there? Are you alright? Yes. Why <laughs> voice voice? Currently signaling status and requesting yours over. You mean the lantern? Uh, I don't know Morse code. Would never use such an easy dis decipherable code over enemy agents everywhere. Over. Wait, not over. Still unconfirmed vis a vis your connection. Following enemy serpent encounter. O over. Please report by status. How many and how goes over? Uh, I'm not quite. 
That gen snake monster chased me right to my door and I barely escaped. Oh, I was hoping to be ironic with him. <laughs> That's probably not the good situation. I'm not a good person. I like to make people worry. <laughs> Goodness. My safety's important. Over. What was worried? Over. It reminds me, after I shut the door on it, it I think it heard it crumpling off back down the stairs. I don't think you should leave your treehouse anytime soon. It might be heading back your way. No plans of leaving current location, Yard. Cr crawling with... Crypt... Crawling... Cryptid... Vanguard. Over. Cryptid? Crypt... Crypt... Crypt Vanguard? I think big picture chose. Over. Okay, maybe I'll... May... Okay, maybe... Be a little less... Obtuse, then. Purely defensive posture techno... Te oh, my goodness gracious. English skills that are lagging. Technically suicidal. Monsters likely just... Distraction. Could have obscured additional agents on approach. Over. Do you mean like more monsters or can't discuss on unsecured channel? Can't be certain who's listening. But evidence points to Antares class conspiracy cascade. Over. Uh. <laughs> Did you forget our discussion on conspiracy? Gradantation of the yeah, over. Uh, liter literally, as it happened, yes. It. Couldn't. Um, Taras? Bad? What? Really bad. And hit the scorp scorpion, Joey. Over. Okay, sounds like a good reason not to leave my room and get killed by monsters. I don't know these words! I don't know English! Goodness, I thought I was better than this. That's crucial. It's crucial, right? On the battlefield, Joey. Hoping presence of monsters has tipped a creation away from typical skepticism. Over. Okay, that's, uh, that's fair. Okay. What do I need to know? Your current position is not secure. Large yard facing window. Windows. Location compromised to enemy. Situation rapidly deteriorating. Must ascend to attic, Joey. Over. The attic? Yes, the attic. Strong door. Well stocked with technical material. Sorry, what a can. <laughs> the words here. Goodness. Take left of out of bedroom and upstairs. Highest room and house. Over. I know where the what the attic is, dude. It was just a weird suggestion. What else is new? More in scribble rambling from my from my treehouse Lunatic brother. Lunatic? I can't read. This <laughs> Why? No. Oh. I like the game at least. Don't understand. You sound confused. Try to help. Try to help. Over. Look, just, just shut up, okay? I'll sneak up there. Just unlock the door. And you can. Uh, call the cops? Negative. Must assume local law enforcement compromised. All right, nine one one blocked our number after all your prank calls. Drills, not pranks. Preparedness. Oh, no, look. Failed mystery by fat cat. Didn't found to be Jude. Unarmed. 
are housed as a species. Okay. Dude, I'm going to go to the stupid attic, okay? I'm sorry for being mean. Yeah, we wrap it over. Sure don't. Why would I keep that thing around? Serpents swarming everywhere. Over. You want me to fight them? With a flashlight? Don't blame you for being nervous with high concentration of serpent presence. Must be brave. Your brother believes in you and knows you can beat the serpents. Over. Stop saying the serpents. Do you recall what weapon is? Yeah, it's in the closet. <clears throat> Honestly, I'll set them over. No, I mean the hall closet. Crap. Yeah, well, I, I guess I'll have to take your word about, you know, for all this. You um, are sure about all this, right? Absolutely, extremely certain. Over. I'll run out. That's great. Oh, just mess. Or not, but we just started. <laughs> okay, so. No, don't turn that way. Bake. Look. Is it easy to make you very own cake? Or something like that. Easy bake oven. You were really excited to get this for your birthday late last year, but you ran out of the baking stuff pretty quick. Use regular sugar and flour or whatever, but it's not like you have those things just sitting around. Who does, honestly? People with moms, I guess. Pink. There, I got to the door. Got all the big stuff. Just sure rather bought it, though. You're pretty tough. I don't know. It's a little upset, I guess. It's so much stuff here. It's so obvious that kids live there. I do not remember this. Goodness gracious, I'm not allowed to cook anything now. Never mind. Just our team will wrap them to the creature surface. So I should get my old weapon from the hall closet and then head up to the attic, right? I have a feeling the game sounds is a little bit loud now. I'm gonna take it down a bunch there so you can hear me better. Affirmative. Also refrain from excess chatting. Chatter. Over. Oh, alright. Yeah. Bye bye. You're a lot monsters. Over. Yeah, I got it. I'm going. Bye. Can't be too careful. The next. Pretty game, Joey. Silence Golden. Over. Should shop. I remember one time on training mission, couldn't keep my trap shirt. Hobo really landed us in a pickle. Over. What? Hobo, I really landed us in hell. We never had any training. I'm turning off the walkie by. Over and click. Pray to Lord for me. Goodness. Loud. It's your mother's jewelry box. A priceless heirloom of measurable sentiment value. It appears to be some of your brother's empty cans of rings. Yeah. Oh, I can't remember the stuff now. Not good. Yep. You don't use those. I could do <sighs> Good thing he's always giving you the creeps. But that didn't stop you from patching it up after you accidentally ripped it with an experimental tool. Homeless dart. <laughs> the first and last dart gun war with Jude. <laughs> and her. Building that here provides great cover for those who refuse to use firearms. Namely you. You try to distract him while you tap dancing and then stick a dart on him. Didn't work at all. <laughs> okay. That's a 
guess you go here. I don't know where. Mm. This wasn't gonna be the act. I don't care. No stuff that should have moved into the attic. There's some toys here too that you don't play with that much anymore. Basically a pile of unused trash. Oh, it's even spookier from this side. Frankly, you feel a little spookier yourself, just asking him all of this spooky aura. Let's go back. We need... Oh, we can just click on the floor! Didn't give me any instructions. What is this room? Dark here. Yeah, Dark Brother. <laughs> Maximum security bedroom. This is locked up tight because of all the silly conspiracy work he does in there. I really doubt you'll be entering this room anytime soon, but really, you would. Would you ever want to? Would you even want to? It's full of nerd stink and goober crud, not to mention it's where his pet usually lurks. We love all animals, but just the same, that's one you'd rather let you deal with. What pet? Oh, that's cool, Buck Ryan. Right. No matter, but hours of fun with numbers number of hours and the degree of fun depending on the power of your imagination which in your case has many hours and a lot of fun now the closet if memory serves there's a box full of some old belongings of yours in here i wonder if it has what you're looking for let's open it there's so many stuff all right get it you can search the box while it's still up on the shelf. You think back to before, back to when this closet door was shut. You had a reasonably good guess about what was inside, but now? I guess it's even more reasonable. What? Look. The box probably has the stuff you need, but you can't reach it. Hmm. I wonder what your next step should be. Actually, your captures might be in the solution to this problem. If you could get a good stomp going, you might be able to tumble that box right off the shelf. Oh, let's go down, I guess. Think when you grab your strip weapon from the hall closet and head up to the attic. I'm sticking with that plan for now. But you can't get it! Okay, what's this one then? That's not the way I went. Wait, is it a circle? What? Fascinating. I'm not even plugged in, but there are the... There is at, at least nine possible light sources in your immediate area, so maybe it got lost in the... Typical well illuminated shuffle. Yeah, d d where is her shoes? Can I open it? So we walk into it and then once you do that, kind of. I don't remember what his pet is. Okay, maybe her. I thought her shoes was. Uh, downstairs in the kitchen. Scavenger hunt. I don't see them. There, there. Quip. <coughs> I was looking for ballerina shoes, that's why. You had the tap dancing ability to your technique. 
Yep, those are words that refer to the concept you learned them literally just now. This will help you if there's anything you need to shake up or shake off, or if you're just in the mood to shake it. Perfect. That's good. Oh, don't click up the game. Oh, there's, there's not a way there. I thought I went that way. Oh, okay. Click through the box and find your flashlight and an old pair of ballet sh slippers. Ballet slippers. This will come in handy. There's some patriots in here too. You keep caches of these all over. You never know when you'll need to treat the pet. Go ahead and try your flashlight. Click no dice. Another battery problem. You open it up. Wait, there are no batteries in here at all. Just a bunch of stupid pogs. Dang it, Jude. <laughs> Who stores pogs in that? I'm disconnected from Steam. Why? Internet. Find my old strifer weapon. Guess what? It's full of your stupid pogs. Crap, forgot about those. Please keep safe. Over. Okay, but I'm not going to take especially good care of them. Please protect Mother at all costs. Over. <laughs> you have fun doing that. Uh, you Mulder. Scully Pog is obviously there. That's all. Is that. Terms acceptable. Keep them safe. She's yours. Over. So I guess I head up to the attic now. What is the plan? Over. I better shake my leg then. Affirmative. Over and up. Yeah. All the diesel batteries if you want to protect the story purpose of the pod street. Yeah. Okay, fine. Let's go. Oh, there's What? Shouldn't I? It's still going for me. It's locked, but you need to get in here as soon as you can. Peek through the keyhole. I thought I controlled it. It moved perfectly as I moved my mouse. Most quickly. What the heck is that thing? How long has that been there? Hey, the attic door is locked. I just forgot about that. Technical blunder on my part. Over. It's fine, no big deal. Just left the safety of my room to be eaten by monsters in the hallway because my dorky brother sent me to the safety of the wrong side of the locked door. It's not fine, over. Jude! Panic, not necessary. Still need to get you to attic over for safety right well whatever i'm trusting you i guess i appreciate that over although so far it hasn't technically paid off hey please just need you to head to therapy room over oh gross i hate that place why don't we why do we why does he even need a special trophy room in our Whole house is just his dumping ground for whatever garbage he picks up on stupid adventures. I'll find key and attic there. Mysterious lands of absent father not relevant. Over. It's fine. Over now. Why is he smiling? I think you just a double SD. You got. Let's leave. Um, door opened. Yeah. Some red clothes and portraits of your most great family. So to take a closer look. There's a picture of Grace and Radiance and Pa is just Pa. Seriously. Has he ever changed his look? As soon as you warned her he was born. That was 
spectacles and mustache. With his spectacles and mustache. Or at least one of the two. She's gorgeous though. Another lady. Uh, pure school portraits the laser background and the bad hair there's similar perfection uh, she puts up uh, and measures up probably like I said the challenge but he probably wouldn't even get it he's like oh, maybe neither do you oh la la that there is that there mom is looking that's glam glamifique When you grow up, you hope this is what mirrors will look like. Oh, it's cute. And you don't wear a good dog. Aww. What's this? You did have a lot of fun memories with your baby sister. But now, probably more than you would mom and pop combined. You always thought of her as the kind of cool and fun older kid you wanted to be. Until you're old enough to realize she is a pretty sucky role model. Ah. I'm online. Live. I don't know why Og is in it. I wonder what her family's like. But it's probably not your place to ask. I used to be great with animals. I wonder what happened. Maybe the betrayal? No, impossible. Look at how good that dog is, and the dog never betrayed anyone in this entire family. You would shake your entire reputation on it. The whole thing. So, head to the prep room? A prep room. Over. Got it. Over now. Okay. This guy. What's he so happy about? Anyway. Expression probably made more sense on the original context. That is to say, whatever is plumb up temple or whatever you let you pop plumb it from. I don't think it's smiles. Well. Seems the power's out. I should make the trophy room quite the adventure, which is to say, not quite the adventure you wish you were having right now. Well, it would seem the power's out. Classic. Sucks. Over. What? Cut it. Where is it do? Best way to. Uh, destabilize. countermeasures. Leave you in the dark. Literally. Over. Not literally. It's still like really clean. I can see fine. She don't know trouble getting into the trophy room then. Over. Fine then. Mission control. Yes. Great. Over not. Holy. Look at her face. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm not surprised though, that really, but still. That's a big carpet. Oh my god. You cannot clean that thing. <laughs> That's impossible. It's too messy. Pet vet? Play haunting model. What? That would be just the thing, wouldn't it? Some kind of airy, lonely Santa. Sonata. To really set the tone from for the adventure ahead. Something in a minor key, maybe. It's a shame that you would probably provoke a bunch of monsters to eat you. Also, you can't really play the piano. I guess this is the trophy room. Also, the, leaving the protection of your home seems a little like a bad idea. Oh, what did you is that there? I think you will stay inside where your chances of meeting creatures and weirdos are Still pretty good, honestly. The ladies in these paintings are eerily beautiful. Although maybe everyone would look like that in blue. Lamp goodness, you like to meet the lady who modeled for it someday. 
What? <laughs> Why? That's such a thing. Well, your part really gets in one too with his taxidermy, huh? What a gal. <laughs> I just smiled. Probably. The sound you heard since you entered the kitchen grows louder as you approach. The awful static is like nothing you've ever heard, and you want to go back to not hearing it as soon as possible. You turn the radio off. Batteries. Probably. Yes, you open the battery compartment. Get batteries. Jackpot, diesel. You can never have too many batteries, and never in too many different sizes either. Glorious. Flashlight. Yes. Yeah, back in there. I, I, I never un exited. Another electric device successfully powered through clever manipulation of resources in your environment. You are on fire. The flashlight, fully functional and in fit fighting form, you feel significantly better equipped to handle most low light environments and also to beat the bejesus out of any of those creeps. Well, that gets too close. Although that's at least at last resort. Home sweet home. One tube for the pet. Tube hallway that I sort of moved. It didn't. I'm just seeing the clock is. Um, pet uses to get around the house. You haven't seen it tonight, fortunately. Okay. Look. This room is currently blocking your access to the rest of the house. He's been ever since your pa left him here a month ago. Move. Yeah, not a lot of chance of you being able to move. I'm pulling over here. <laughs> I think we're in the basement. I don't think we're in the right place here. <laughs> move joint pile. Try to move one box and the whole pile is literally going to come tumbling down on you. You need to find some way to get them all. But at once, shake him up or the control. Shake him up! <laughs> I'm fixing problems I didn't even have. <laughs> or that's not the worst thing. Flip. Flip the regular round round. Everything went darker. Because you grew up in the house where nobody really cooks, but no idea what you want to do with these cooking things. Food, the great mystery. Oh boy. The face. Okay. Don't really know what I'm doing. Check, please. No chance of beating this thing. You gotta get away. Step on it. What do we need to use? Can you roll up the stairs? Girl, impressive. That's the creepy fun. Oh, my God. That's f those feet. What's wrong with them feet? I didn't even see that. I don't know where to go. Probably this way. I think I fixed things in the wrong order. Yeah, right here. <laughs> okay. Could have done it wrong. No oh, goodness. Yeah. 
Where is oh my goodness. Light. Light on you. Oh goodness. Didn't remember. Light, light. Alright, next turn. Better luck next turn. Dancing? Please excuse me. What? Oh. Charity of us. Yeah, there you go. Oh, she's smiling. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I know I won't turn. I want to switch characters at least. I know she doesn't have that mana long, I think. What? I don't understand. Let's keep on. Let's, let's feed it though. Mm, for seconds. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Last reflect of death scene averted. You're unbelievably stressed out right now. Congratulations, you're ascended to rank two. Ten rank of tail waggling pyro. Max HP increased by twelve. That's <laughs> increased by seven. Congratulations, you're ascended to rank three. Goodness. Minute manhole mender. It's been increased by dexterity. Like increased by two. Grace increased by six. Leverage increased by five. Also, the senator rank four. I'm called paper <laughs> patterns. Master noggin pop. What? Currency decreased by two. No courtesy. Courtesy. Well then. I need some stones. I think. I think. You wish it wasn't in your house. Why would you apologize? Just leave there. Regular eyes in, and also more importantly, leave their head attached to their body. Why wouldn't we do that? I'd like to put something in those sockets, but what? And also, wait, why do you want to do that so much? That's weird. So, where's the key? In his desk or something? I'd never leave critical item in such obvious location. Over. Okay, but like, where did you leave it? I just had to lure a hungry monster out of here with treats, and I'm not sure how much time I have for brother or sister conspiracy capers before it comes back. If room compromised, we can't discuss countermeasures over a um, secure line. Unutilized puzzlers, galettes, over. No, fine. Call back and assistance required, over not. If assistance required. Ben it. What? He loves love of gloves. No, no boundaries. New bounds. You don't recognize any of the continents in this one. You don't recognize the. Okay, here's it. You'd have a better idea of what you were looking at if you could read the scribble labels. All you can make sense of is the X mark. Could it? As if being dead weren't bad enough, your father placed his eyes with some creepy glass orbs. Light reflected in them stars gives you the creeps. But are you crazy, or is it the same light reflection off his antler too? Maybe it bears closer examination. Is um ours, I think. I don't know. What is this? It's an uh, yeah, vulgar monster from Mexico. 
cut out of the wood of the cocoa tree. This little thing used to creep you out really bad until your babysitter suggested you learn more about it. You found out their base of monstrous and the artist saw in your dreams. Nervous is in. It seems like a lot, a lot more familiar. Friendly, friendlier, not familiar. What? <laughs> Where are the old ashes in here? In a couple of. This way, found this stuff very cool. I've never been entirely clear on what's going on in this tapestry, but it certainly looks intense. Just looking at the fire breathing serpent beast at the bottom and the red eyed figure on the line from it. What's their deal? I don't know. Something about it. No. Just, why can't I look at this? Katanas, you have no idea what to do with one. No, you can deal with this. Throw it away. Equipped armor. It's a little out of season. Right. Seems like someone sliced the big fella's hand off. Lucky he's lefty, at least. Do I stick pogs in there? Is that what I'm doing? Pogs and eyes? You could never be such rude or cruel to such a big sweet kitty who's already stuffed so much. Suffer so much. Something different needs to go into the socket cell. If only because you aren't getting creeped out. I don't have it. Candy? This big kitty and trees plenty while he couldn't join them. I sincerely hope that. <sighs> this, uh, whatever it is. It's a. Here is. Mentioning a huge monstrous. Do you monstrous help them? Kill them? You prefer to imagine everyone gets out, okay? But you know life is rarely that kind. You, um, good nothing. You feel unqualified to comment. Unqualified. There's clock. Stop at 11 11. Has been as long as you can remember. You'd fix it, but why bother? It's not like you were going to make a habit out of strolling over to the worst room in your house to check the time. I don't really know what to do. I already looked at it. Pull! Ah, it goes the pull with the answer. Dude, I can't make heads and tails out of this thing. Look, they're over. I turn in a laser, but that's it? Nothing else is happening? Do you thought you were a puzzle master? It was wrong, it seems. Over. Hold on. Over. Blue scales for birds. MacGuffin crying dog experience trouble. Unbelievable. Over. Wait. A discard previous burn. Uh, super, oh, superior burn formula. Ace Ventura, pet detective. Please respond if ice required. Over. <sighs> nice try, Dork. Maybe if you were a real technician, you'd manage to get your burns out on the first try instead of requesting do overs. Pride wanted, but unable to protest. I have been informed mildly. Not just a banner. Cold cornerstone of squad trim line. Over. Uh, yeah. Anyway, how am I supposed to solve this thing? This is clearly a puzzle thing that cries out to be solved. Use marvelous. Over. I'm thinking as hard as I can. You know I like puzzles. I won't be asking if it weren't an emergency. Actual marvel. Over. 
What are you talking about? Trivial really over. What marbles? I don't have any marbles. You don't. No one nearby? Hold on. I'm just really No. Oops. Over. Yeah, I was rich up. Mm. Nah, nah, nah. Hey you. You are now Jude, hi. I will murmur these. Oh, Vela tonight is apparently the night you had been preparing for. Not so many. Ha! Oh, those words! Goodness. I made a rare technical blunder. The marvelous that Joe needs to treasure the treasure from globe are here in the treehouse. The vault for the lone birds. Can I save? Perfect. Okay, did I save? Perfect! Okay. But I'm going to end this game here because, like I said, I'm over time and we just switched characters. This is perfect timing to end this. Uh, but I'm going to be back again later today playing a little bit with Aurelius, hopefully. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be back again, same time tomorrow as always. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully see you all in the next video. Bye, everyone. And at least you got to see my face this time. Bye, everybody. <laughs>